Oh, he's gone! He's gone! He's edged off! Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the seventh episode of this Netherlands T20 World Cup glory, guys. In Crew Captain 2020, where today we're going to be taking on Scotland in the seventh episode of the series, guys. I mean, we're just going to get straight into it here. We have been put into bat, which is not a great start. Uh, you may have noticed that we've gone down in stars and we've actually taken a few different options for this game, guys. So, without further ado, let us just get straight into it and see how we can go here. <sighs> well, it's a giggle, but it's a giggle of... <laughs> help me. So, <laughs> there you go, guys. An early wicket, of course. I think maybe we should try uh, a different tactic today. Maybe we'll try and pull them back. Pull people back and uh, see if we can just, you know, meander just a little bit uh, for, a f for a few overs and see if we can face off the new ball threat by Scotland. My burger's at number three today. That's a good shot down the ground for four, I tell you what. Stefanus Myberg. We're going to try and see off Davy. Oh, shot from Edwards. And wheel here. Oh, I thought he edged it, but he didn't. That's straight again. That's four. This is great batting here. Just keep hitting it straight, boys. That's 100% what we need to do right now while they're still bowling. Edged pass slip for four. Outside leg. Uh, going at fives. It doesn't matter at this stage. There we go. Now we can attack. The spin is on. Now we can attack. Shot from Edwards over point. Huge six. Oh, again, straight. Six more. What is getting pummeled? And it will be six more. Scott Edwards. Would you believe it? He's just going to town. Now we're going to seven and over again. My bird goes straight. Beats mid off for four. Edwards on a free hit. Goes straight. For six more. The man has hit four sixes and two overs. He's on 44. He cuts away. It will be four. He's on 49. He's going to scamper through. And he's going to make it. He's going to bring up a 50. Edwards. His first since the very first game, I believe. And uh, now I would kind of let him go loose. Not just yet is what I'm thinking here. Shot from Myberg. That's four. I tell you what, let Myberg go loose, and uh, actually let let Scott Edwards go loose, and let Myberg be the um, the anchor here. New all-time record partnership at Sydney. Let's say it's at the SCG, and it's 81 for the second wicket here. 7.4 and over though. Let's get Scott Edwards is going to go ballistic now. We've got the platform we need, guys. Let's go. Ooh. Edge. Come on, Myberg. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, he's off strike. He's off strike. What to Edwards. Tossed up. Drive. Through covers. Four. Thank you very much. What to Edwards. He goes past cover for four. 7.7 .7 per over. Tell you what, for now, we're going to let Myberg go loose, too. Oh, he's a swing and a miss from Edwards. Goes straight past mid on for four. My big. He gets a swing and a miss, I think. He skews it, should be out. Oh, it's in the gap. It's four. Hundred up. Thank you very much. Good stuff there from the Netherlands. Guys, this is the best position we have ever been in. And the, it's already paying off big time here, guys, of slowing down. Let the game come to you a bit. And uh, as soon as I say that, it was edges off for 68 off 45. Though what an innings it has been, guys. Fantastic stuff has given us a huge platform to launch off here. Main is going to bowl to Myberg. And he goes over a cover for six. Off the back foot. He's going to scamper through. Is he going to make it? Yes, just about. Cooper edges, but away. Myberg. Down leg. That's down leg. Cuts for six. And Myberg, wow me. What an entrance he has made. This is just the second game in the career so far, guys. And uh, I believe that is his first 50 in his second game. Making a big impact here at number three. 
Hooper drives past cover for four as well. Death overs. Let's go. And he's gone. Uh, Cooper is gone. Who's got the best strike rate? Tender Scarta does. Let Tender Scarta face the ball. And get a full toss and hit it for six. That's what you're going to do. Maibu pulls that one for six more. 140. He's cleaned up. And I tell you what. What an innings it's been, guys. What an innings that was from Maibu. 56 of 45. Fantastic stuff. Main with his second wicket. I tell you what, that was a beauty too. Let's just uh, be real, guys. It was right in the Yorker. Slot there. Maibu tries to hit it out the ground. Cannot do so. Okay, Ackerman. Edges for four. Take them all. Take them all, baby. Uh, 144 here. I'm just going to look to unleash. I'd rather go short than uh, go long. I don't know what I'm trying to say. That's pass mid off for four more. Tend to scart is placing it beautifully right now. Nearly gets bold though. Ackerman. Down the ground. Beats mid off for four more. Okay, 157. Two overs to go. Come on, the Netherlands. That's a six from Tend to Scarter. Edges past the keeper. Thank you. That's a swing and a miss. Bat on ball, boys. No, bat on ball. Come on. Oh. Brad Wheel to bowl the last, 165 for four. It's a big heave ho. Oh my goodness me, Brad Wheel's bowling amazing. Tender Scarter pulls it though for four. Yes, he does. 170. Goes big for six. Last ball, the over. Four, no. Good stop. Good stop. 177 for four, guys. Our best batting performance against Scotland, despite losing Max O'Dowd for a three ball duck and... Despite going down in stars, guys, in this game, we've actually got 177 for four. We've got something on the board, guys. And another big change into the team, guys. At the other end, it's going to be Paul um, Van Meekeren. I think that's how you say that. He is coming into the lineup tonight. Let's see how he goes. But Van der Guten's on strike. Well, sorry, bowling the first over here. And that is a good shot from Steele for four. Let's see, Van Meekeren. Here we go. See how he goes. That's a six for the first delivery. Second delivery of his uh, entrance here. Not great news at all. Okay, Steel is on fire. Van der Goot is going to bowl to Steel now. And he gets a slower one and pulls it away for four. McCloy belts it straight for four. Thankfully only four. That is passing it off for four more. They are doing extremely well here, Scotland. And it's, to be fair, not exactly uncharacteristic. I mean, they've done ex they've done exceptionally well in the past. Malik into the attack here. And he gets the breakthrough. McCloy edges off. And I tell you what, it's a great catch from Edwards as well behind the sticks. Look at that. McCloy gone for 13 off 11. A big breakthrough. Any breakthrough is a big breakthrough at this stage. Uh, Van Meekeren is going to bowl to Munzee. That's straight. That's four. That's a good shot. Malik is going to bowl one more before the power play is finished. Nearly gets Munzee. That's a good shot. Whip, walked across and whips it away for four. They're going. They need nine and over, guys. And tell you what, the game is still on here. It's very much anyone's game at this stage. We've got a left-hander, so it's turning into him. So we're going to put that man back. And with the right-hander, it's turning away from him. So we're going to put that man back. Let's go. Go ripping. Get straight through him here. Come on, boy. That's a six. <laughs> I mean, it, it happens so often, guys. They absolutely love taking him to shreds. Oh, jeez. That's just outside the line. You're kidding me. But I can't kid you because it's, it's out. It's, it's out. It's not out. Impact outside the line. If we could just grab one more wicket here, guys, and get Jones in. It would be fantastic. So I think uh, we're going to have Malik bowl one more here with a slip in play. We're going to realize that the slip here is the crucial ingredient to another wicket. And he's got a corn bowl first delivery. The plan has worked and Malik gets another wicket. More importantly, gets Munzee gone for 14. Malik edged and gone. Is he on a hat trick or has he already got it? Should we have a look back, guys? How do we look back here? This is interesting. This is his first data. Okay, so he came back for it. He got a last ball wicket in his first data. Second over, didn't get a wicket. And in his last over, 
Now, he's got two wickets in a row. Jones gone for a golden duck. Cross coming in. Hattrick ball is on the cards. And is down leg. Unfortunate. And is down leg again. One run off it. Scotland 62 for three and now in 9.6 and over. Wow. What has happened here? A massive, massive change in the momentum of this game, guys. Cross slipping. Because he's new to the crease. He's new to the crease. He hasn't settled at all. And, of course, he uses that and goes for four. Scotland 68 for three. Oh, swing and a miss. He sends blood. The Netherlands sends blood. But it's four more. 9.6 needed per over still. Can Malik get one more, I reckon? And he doesn't. He doesn't get one more, but he gets three off the over. What an over it was. Ten and over needed here from Scotland. It's a big ask, but they can definitely do it here. Especially with shots like that. That's eight off three balls in this over. Oh, straight, and I reckon it's four, and it is. Van der Merv, what's he doing? He can't bowl today. Yes, he can. Oh, what am I talking about? He gets cross for 18 or 15 as Hears comes to the crease. Okay. We know Hears guys too well. He is exceptional. He is a superstar of their lineup. He definitely won one of the games against us, so we need to be very, very careful against him. And we're going to bring on Rippin against him here. 10.5 needed per over. Hears is the key wicket. And that's a beauty. What bold? Rip in. Rip into his. Edged in the air. Can a field to get there? Yes, he can. Van Meekeren takes the catch. Big moment in this match. Sheriff to the crease. Okay, guys. Big stuff going on. Steel and Sheriff, though. They can definitely lose 11 and over. That's a single. Very, very good over there. Okay, Ackerman to Steel. Around the wicket, which it was a last minute call. I tried to move it back and it hasn't worked because it's gone for four 104 for five here And I think that's four more as well and it is Ackerman going around the wickets cost us big time so far and it will cost us three in a row What is going on? Four in a row Oh, you're kidding me what a captaincy that mistake that was. Four in a row against Colin Ackerman. And Sheriff hits a boundary too. That's still like eight or four balls. And a six in there. And 89s. Oh dear. Oh dear is right, guys. They are getting there. Steel is playing an absolute blinder. Oh, this is so frustrating. We've never got this close, guys. Never have we ever got this close. Edged by Sheriff. Well played. 41 needed off 24. That's still 10 per over. And the problem is we've only got three overs of pace. Not including 10 discard it, which is... And all our spinners are going 10s. And even uh, Van der Guten as well. Who do we turn to at the death, Van der Merv? He's done it so often. He's going to have to do it again today. I'm going to go ball by ball. One run. One run. One run. One run. One run. One run. Okay. That changes things quite a bit. Uh, that means... Let's just do the calculations really quickly, guys. 35 of 18. Okay, I'm sorry. 35 of 3 overs is 11.67 per over. Okay. That puts us back in the hot seat again. But Steel is the key man here. And he's edged it. And I reckon it might be six. And it is six. And he's got steel though for 80. Steel's gone for 80. Scotland 28 of 15 needed. Van Meeker in. Can he get Josh Davey? Josh Davey hits it for four though. He's gone. Castled. 24 of 13. To what? And he's blasted a six. 18 of 12. Jeepers. Did we bowl the wrong one, though? We bowled the wrong one. Of course we did. We bowled Van Meeker and one over too early. Big mistake. Big, big mistake. And it looks like Van der Merve will bowl again. 
Okay, ball by ball, 18 off 12 needed. Three wickets in hand. Scotland are favourites, and especially now, four. Gosh, guys, this Sheriff guy is ridiculous. How is he being able to bat as a bowler? It's so frustrating. Dot ball, not 13 off nine. It's going to take a big effort here. And that's four. Nine off eight. Nine to win. Got him. What's gone? Okay, wheel to the crease. Nine from seven. Eight from six. Van der Guten has been given the ball. And he's got the most important job to do in the career thus far, guys. He's got to somehow defend eight runs. Wish him all the best, guys. Seven off five. Sheriff on strike. He could win it here, and he gets an edge for four. There's no slip. Oh, you're kidding me. Well, there is a slip now, but it's too late, you'd think. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's edged off. Gee, it's a big wicket. Van der Guten gets Sheriff edged off. And now three from three. Three to win off three balls. Can Maine do it? No, he's been given. The Netherlands have done it. The Netherlands have done it. Would you believe it? <sighs> I'm in shock. Oh, how's it happened? It's clipping. And Maine has been given. Van der Guten is the hero. And the Netherlands win by two runs on an absolute cracker of a game, guys. Wow, we, if you did see that coming, let me know down in the comments below. Because I didn't. I thought Steele had done it. Scott Steele, 80 or 49. The man through extra cover was unstoppable. But the Netherlands have squeaked home for the first time since the first episode. Wowie, Scott Edwards, 68. Well played, Myberg, 56. What a partnership that was as well, guys. 104 and then 37 at the death in very quick time from Ackerman and Tender Scarter to get what we thought was above par, uh, an above par total, and it was, but still played an absolute blinder. Supported with Sheriff with 28. Their partnership, 52. Took the game from 5 for 98 to 6 for 150. Well in their grasp, but a lower order collapse. You could say a lower order collapse, but they, I mean, they tail wagged somewhat. I mean, Watt got a 6 and a 4. Sheriff batted extremely well. And wow, I mean, just what a turnaround that was, guys. Malik, 3 for 17 in his 4 overs was exceptional. Van Meekeren, what? What a spell that was. Sorry, I thought Van Meekeren was the hero. It was actually Van de Guten in the end was the hero. Who had to bowl the last over. And Van der Merv. What a comeback. He was going for 11.25 at one stage. We brought him back at a crucial time. And he got two crucial wickets right when we needed. And the Netherlands have upset Scotland. You can say that, guys. Look, if you don't believe me, look at all the ep previous episodes to this one, guys, and you will believe me then. We upset Scotland by two runs, meaning we go to the Gabba. We go to Brisbane. One win on the board, which means we just need one more win. And for the first time, guys, we would qualify for the Super 12. Unbelievable scenes, guys. Uh, has anything changed now, Paul? No, we haven't played our games yet, so... We just need Scotland to lose to Bangladesh, and we are through. Because Namibia, they are pretty toast in this game, guys. I've never seen them qualify. And uh, judging by that first game against Bangladesh again, it's just, it's, yeah. They they lost in, wow. Uh, there you go, that's 73 all out, and uh, 76 for three. Anyways, guys, next episode, we are up against Bangladesh. So if you did enjoy this one, this absolute cracker of a game, guys, then please make sure you leave a like. Subscribe for more content such as this, guys. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias down below, especially on Twitter, guys. I tweet out a lot. And join my Discord server to receive exclusive updates for when all of our videos go live, guys. Otherwise, I will see you all in the next episode, guys. This series just got epic again, guys. 
We're back in it. We finally fought our way. How many times do we have to lose to Scotland to finally beat them again? And what a performance it was by just two runs, guys. It could have gone either way. What a cracker. I'll see you in the next one, guys, against Bangladesh. Goodbye for now.